Hi, today I'll be showing you how to build a paper rocket. First, let's start with eight and a half by 11 sheet of typing paper and a half inch PVC pipe. Roll the paper around the pipe. And we'll tape this paper down its whole width. Make sure the paper isn't so tight around the pipe that it doesn't slide. That's gonna be the tubing that the rocket launches off of. Once you have your tubing made, it should look like this, taped all the way down the side. Now we're gonna put fins on it. This helps make your rocket stable. To make a fin, cut a piece of paper lengthwise like this. Then you're gonna fold that paper in half. And then fold fins down on either side. So you get a piece that looks like this. This can then be cut into smaller sections. And that'll make up your fin. If we attach this onto your rocket body like this, as your rocket twists and turns, airflow can cause this piece to fold back and forth. We want to make it more rigid. To do that, I'm going to cut through just the outer flap of this, just that outer section. Then I'll tape the ends, taping one end, the other, trim off the excess tape, and see where I've scored that paper? Here and here. If I squeeze on the ends, the fin takes on a three-dimensional shape. Both sides bow out. I can take a piece of tape and holding it in the bowed out position, place the tape over it, and now it will hold that shape. When I tape that down to a rocket body, like this, you'll see that the fin doesn't flap back and forth as much much more sturdy. I'm going to continue doing this all the way around the rocket until I have three nice symmetrical fins, or four, or five, whatever you think is best. The last part is to make a nose cone for our rocket. To do that, I'll grab another sheet of paper. I'm going to roll it, kitty corner. This might take a little practice. Keeping one side wide, and one side narrow, I'll roll it over itself several times, make it a cone, and then tape this down. Once it's done and nicely taped, I'm going to start trimming down the cone until it reaches the circumference of my rocket. You can see that's too big. I'll keep trimming it down until it just fits snugly over the tip of the rocket. The last step is to tape this nose cone down. And there you have it. 